Hey everyone, this is Dusk on Makasta Gamer, and currently we're playing Hello, Hello. Doing it via live stream. Why hello live stream peeps. I'm going this to and I'm going into this basically blind as hell. All I know is that it was released yesterday. It's translated by the same person who translated Eve and Witch's House and Mad Father and Masao and Paranoiac and Crooked Man and Palette and Rekinder and Mermaid Swamp and the ongoing list of very, very long list. This actually came out two weeks after Mermaid Swamp, so again, I don't know how much dialogue's in this game, so I'm kind of impressed with how fast she's able to translate these. That said, we're going to be jumping right into this one pretty shortly. Now, I don't know if Hello Hello is scary. I know next to nothing. The only thing I do know is that this game apparently has over 30 endings. Anyways, let's jump right into this. I know you. Well, they literally just kicked me to the... Wow, you move slow. Actually, no, this is a run button. But still, you move slow as fuck, and hello, wine bottle. Hello, cell phone. Guess I just have to get used to everything. Ah, hello? I'm gonna keep on answering the phone right now. Hello? Who is this? Hmm. <clears throat> There's a flash of something there, everyone keep on answering because of that very reason. Akari? And now the screen's blacking out. End one. Hello? Hell oh. Well that was fast. Hey look, they added a hey on the title screen. Alright, hello? Hello? Hey. Next. Now if we go over this way, what if I try to leave? If I try and leave, N2, can't stand this room. <laughs> hello, hello, hey, I know you. So I see what type of game this is. This is a game where we keep on entering inside the same area and do different things to try and get all the different endings. Here's a letter that says, I'm lonely. What if I look at it again? No nothing? I turned off the candles. Can't see jack shit. Something or another's coming. End 18. Approaching footsteps. I know you. Alright. Hey, the letter's gone this time. And the clock is ticking. Alright, let's take a chance to look at the clock then. Did I actually have a clock in here? Oh, Not in the mood to read. Okay, phone, what's going on with you? Hello? This is Akari, isn't it? Answer, please! And now someone came up behind me. Intriguing. N7, no reply. <clears throat> now my room has changed yet again. Teddy bear? It feels almost alive. Let's see. Not willing to turn on the TV. It's very stubborn. Oh! oh <laughs> the chair put me forth in front of the book. Alright, let's see. What's up with the book? Not in the mood to read. That's why the fact the book told you there. Decorative flowers. Right, how about the bags over there? Packed with souvenirs for my girlfriend. Why did they fall down? Pack soon. Yep, I don't know why they fell down. I actually kind of want to look outside the window, but yeah, I, I'm just kind of running around. Outside the window. <laughs> what the fucking hell? Oh, well, hello, magical green man. It reflects the room. Now it's shattered. Hey, look, there's a turkey dinner over here. Food? Eat. End date. Not feeling well. It's kind of interesting. Hello, hello, hey, where are you? Alright, we're in this version of reality. Decorative flowers. Why does the wine bottle always spill? What a waste of good wine. I agree. Alright, teddy bear seems pretty excited. The bear keeps on doing its thing. A fireplace. Rare these days. You'd think you'd recognize that by your own house. Actually, is he even in his house? I don't know. 
Going to bed. N4. Let it just be morning. Alright. This whole scenario is still happening. What about if I stand behind the bed? Not in the mood to read, despite the fact that the chair fucking... Feels almost alive. I want to look at this. Why is it... Stop moving your fucking cabinet thing, decorative flowers. Alright, so besides the fact that we're completely haunted, a smartphone. I don't use it much anymore. Hmm. Drinking the wine. <clears throat> N23, Hanover. Alright, uh, this is. Now the room is staying like this again. I guess I just run around to figure out what's going on. What was that? Reflects the room. Now then it reflects the room. There's nothing inside the darkness, apparently. Uh, there's a smartphone we don't use much anymore. No, I did not mean to turn off the lights. That just leads us to the same menu we got before. I don't exactly know which. I mean, I, I don't know the exact numbers of the endings that we're getting, but I do know uh, basically what I have to do to get the endings. I've got good memory on that, but not a good memory of the numbers. So other things we can do to change the ending. Decorative flowers. Those those two things following the fireplace rare these days. Maybe if I circle the table a little bit. Observe the teddy bear. I'm just kind of running around the room to see if something changes. I knew that I'd pull the chair to me. It always does. It leads me to the book. Saying not in the mood to read and all that leads to that. The table seems to be going somewhere. So I kind of want to see what happens with that if I just wait. If I, in fact, let's just run around the room and wait things out for a little bit. I'm pretty sure one of the endings is going to be involved around being very, very patient. And those flowers are definitely going somewhere. Where exactly are they going? I couldn't quite tell you. But they are definitively going somewhere. Maybe, uh, yeah, let, let's try and watch to see where the fuck this table's going. I feel like that has to be related to something. Decorative flowers. Uh, run all around the room. Now there's a heavy breathing. That wasn't creepy. What are you guys talking about? I don't know. Not willing to turn on the TV? Why not? TV sounds like it could be fun. Maybe I just stand right next to the chair and let it come on top of me. Let me try this. Table. Come on top of me. Oh, just moved away from me. What a bitch. Table's got a freaking mind of its own. Well, maybe if I leave the table somewhere specifically, because it seems to go in the direction of which I am. Alright, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't want to... I want to read the book. I'm not in the mood to read, though. I can't leave outside my room. This teddy bear... Almost feels like it's alive. Maybe I just have to interact with things because I'll stop the flag. Where the fuck that was? There's that deep breathing again. All right, look outside the window. Let's say hello to the magical green man who decides to live outside my house. Hmm. Yeah, that's not a bad apartment, all things considered. And what's that say? Blood sticks to the mirror. Totally not uncreepy. Well, waste of good wine. That's about what I was saying. There has to be an ending here, which I haven't picked up yet, or else they wouldn't keep on bringing me here. The phone's not going off. Oh, the TV turned on. Hello, TV? Why? I know tomorrow's our anniversary, but I can't just go where I want. Why don't you understand that? I don't get it. I just don't. I've never missed it before. That's why I'm saying I'm sorry. Ah, just die. Dots, N17, quarrel. All right. Now the room is different. Oh boy, I don't, I want to get a different version of the room than the one I keep on getting, though I feel like there's something that I'm supposed to do. Oh, okay. Hello? It feels like it's almost alive. That made me jump. 
I mean, we can have a quarrel with our television. Our television knew it was our anniversary and wanted us to have a good time with it. I know that pulls the chair up to you, so I was just trying to do that. Hmm. What's outside here? <laughs> okay. N30, hell yeah. Really? I know, okay. <clears throat> Let's go over this way. Now I know what the tape right now is. Yai. Feels almost alive. That broke this. Not loud noises. Fun times. Hey look, he's yellow now. Hello, yellow man. Hey, he keeps changing colors when he's outside at him. Now he's blue. The currents are drawn. Oh, really? I just got the same thing. I guess it doesn't depend what window you look out of. I guess it just depends on chance. So maybe that is with most images. It depends on chance there. So yeah. I, I thought it was just specifically that window, but I guess I was wrong. Now that over there makes those fall. I know what makes the chair move towards me. So I want to see if what happens if I keep the chair in place. Frick was that? It's not like a metal clane or something falling down. Hmm. What else to do in this version of the room? I don't want to drink the bottle. Kind of curious about the weird noises. Not in the mood to read. Don't want to sit down and eat. The fireplace hasn't done anything, that's true yet. But I also don't want to walk in the direction of this chair, which I know will grab me. Fireplace, rare these days. It turned on once, but I wasn't able to get an ending out of it. So, hmm. Blood sticks to the mirror. What happens, yeah, what happens if the table's in the way? Like that. I think I just broke the game. I can't move. I think I just found a glitch. Oh, there we go. Okay. It feels almost alive. All right. <clears throat> Fireplace. Why is it lit? Why is it lit? Why is it lit? I'd like to do something else with it, but apparently not. I'm wanting to see if I can get all the endings here. I, I will admit, I'm just kind of because I know part of the goal of this game is to try and get all the endings. Seemingly, no, the bear doesn't seem almost alive. It's just moving of its own free will. No, what happens if I just stand still in a single place for a long amount of time? I'm, I'm just gonna try this because I feel like it keeps on taking me to this version of the room because I'm missing an important ending. Oh yeah, can I pull out the candles now? That's a good question. Will that lead to the same thing? Yes, it does. Which doesn't logically make sense, but... It, it forces the screen out to black, so yeah. I don't know how it works. Maybe when you blow out the candles, the fireplace gets blown out too. It's magic. Let's not interact with anything. In fact, let's let the room stay normal. I'm just going to stand right here and disrupt nothing. Except the table gets disrupted. That's because the table has a mind of its own. The table's a fucking sociopath for all I know. Hmm. There's a light blue ghost. I kind of think that there's another ending attached to the windows, but I'm afraid I'm just going to keep on getting that same ending if I do that. Ah, oh, fuck, I just got it again. Fuck, okay, I'm going to assume there's no other ending except for this one related to the windows. But there's that happy-looking man, and I, he comes in different colors, so part of me thinks that there's something there, but at the same time, he's going to gain that, so probably not, I guess. What happens if I do it again after the bear pulls me? Oh! Oh, there's something there. Can't stand the room. That's the ending we got earlier, but... Now I see something else that might happen to go further away. Oh, the bear's still disconnected. Its head is off. Its head is off, okay, phone. 
Enough of this, okay? Please. Just dots and the fade out. Maybe this will finally change the room. Unseen force. Hello, hello, hey, where are you? Wait. Huh? Let me go investigate. I had music fleeing the phone. Oh, that was a specific ending to flee the phone when it was raining. Why is there a barrel in the room? Its head is off. Its head is off. What a waste of good wine. Non mood read. What is this red thing? I'm gonna let the phone go off the hook and see if any particular ending happens. You guys think I should check out the TV, check out the phone, or blue fire? Why is it lit? Well, like, why is it blue? N21. Her. Starting to get a little bit creepier out Yeah, I know about that. How soon is my girlfriend? Why'd they fall down? Okay, so the windows haven't really changed. Got it. Let's check the phone. Oh. A flash. Akari, what do you want from me? Oh, the book opened. Let's take a look, sees. August 9th. <clears throat> In two days, it'll be six years of Dan Kazuki. I decided I'll make his favorite meal. I'm sure he'll love it. August 10th. Kazuki said he has an important business trip tomorrow, and I was already all done shopping. I can't even give him my present. August 11th. Well, today makes six years, Kazuki. I know how at work is rough. I was too harsh on the phone yesterday. I'm sorry. August 25th. Kazuki called to say he'll be back tomorrow. It feels like it's been so long. I better meet him at the airport. The entries end here. I'm sorry, Akari. I'm sorry. And 10, Sweetheart's Diary. Hey, where are you? Wait for me. All right. Now the room is closed again. Its head is off. Cool. The fire, why is it lit? Okay, that's maybe jump a little bit. N11, face in the mirror. I know. I just realized that the title screen cards have been changing too. I wanted to see if there's something else. Like, I just noticed that uh, the title cards are different. Because now it says I know dot dot dot. So, yeah. Oh, it's the same ending we got before. Gotta be careful with... <laughs> oh. Asking for forgiveness. Yeah. What about if I turn off the camera and start blue? N22, it's really painful. All right, I know again. Let's see. The head's off all the way. There's that, let's answer the phone. Let's sleep while the phone is ringing. Maybe that's an ending. Feigning ignorance. Yep, I knew it'd be something different. I know. Hey, I woke up from the bed this time. Do I actually have a clock in here? A clock? There 
goes the bell. There goes the mirror. Alright, I'll answer the Dane phone. What do you want to do with me, Akari? Dots. Envelope. Let's take a look, see. I'll come meet you tomorrow, Akari. Notice. Hey, where are you? Wait for me. I'm coming. Okay. Second class, hey, was knocking on the door. Check the room. Hug. Akari, come here. I won't let you be alone. I'll do whatever I can. I won't leave you. Then it's all really. Yeah. Really, really. I'm glad. Oh, I got the happy ending there. Except maybe something bad will happen. Happy end, we're together. Alright, there's still more stuff to do though. It's not the true end either. You passed on. Oh, you have to work your way to get some of the separate endings. Got it. I do know there's supposed to be multiple uh, final endings, so let's see. See you. In which case, now, let's relaunch the game. And now the title screen is suddenly upside down. Alright. Hello, hello has made itself upside down. Let's, or backwards, not upside down, backwards. I know. And now my room is in reverse. Odd. Uh, and I'm now playing a girl. What the fucking hell? Alright. Um, let's see. Not willing to turn on the TV. A fireplace. Where is it? What the fucking hell? He's chasing me! And he took my head. Unringing phone. Or she, or it, I know. Now I'm playing as another dude. The fireplace connects to the mirror world. Guess I just answer the phone. Hello? Hello? Who is this? I'll flash this to that. Why, hello, red person. Always nice to see your happy smug around. Akari? Hmm. Yeah, that's from the beginning there, but... Let's see. Right now, though, the tile screen has updated itself now. Hello? Hello? Hey, where are you? Wait for me. I'm coming to see you. TV's turned on. So this is the Daily News. Yesterday morning, a woman was run over by a car. Seriously wounded. She passed away this morning. It's news from last month. And six, last month's news. I know. Door things. What is it? Why is it lit? Packed with souvenirs, how about the curtain? Currents are drawn. A smartphone, not using much anymore. A book. I'm sorry, Akari. I'm sorry. Forget this is the forgiveness ending. I shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. That's the main thing. Alright. 
Alright, let's uh, respond a different way in this next segment, I guess. What if I go to bed while ignoring the door? It will be the feigning ignorance ending. Just let me be morning. Alright. Then I wake up from the bed. There you are. Wait all day for me, did ya? So there's two other options. Let's look around the room after this. Akari. I... Check the room. Silly old Akari. What if I go to bed while she's just trying to do her thing? What if I leave the door when she's around here? She takes off my head. Bad end. Why must you run? You've passed on. See you. Now that... We have backwards world again. Apparently whenever you uh, get a bad end, you go to backwards world. Why? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> ah! I couldn't even do anything this time. Unringing phone. <sighs> I'm just being literally starting. The fireplace connects to the mirror world. That means let me go to the fireplace. Fireplace, rare these days. Alright. Ignore that and go to bed. It was instant headshot. Someone was saying, feigning ignorance. I know I got the ending, but I'm trying to piece it all together. Now then, when it's cool. Fireplace, rare these days. Let's go over this way then. So let me check the mirror in this zone. Be the face. It'll just be mirror. That's a different ending, as in just face in the mirror, it's just mirror. Can't move, let's do this. Now Wait for the fireplace to be lit. I will, uh, after she's here. Don't give me too much advice, but why the fuck did the screen just go black? Uh, like, I can't do anything. I'm gonna restart. I think. Oh, there we go. Akari, I check the room. I'm gonna try to go to bed when she's around. She's kind of stuck on a teddy bear. Uh, what happens if I get caught by her when she's doing this? Why does Akari keep calling? It couldn't be. <laughs> Hello? Akari? Listen, I'm not dead. Not yet. I'm alive. I have a future. I love you. Won't you put your soul to rest? Huh? What do you mean? Huh? <laughs> Bad end, wrong number. <laughs> get... What the fuck? Okay, I've passed on. I know. Apparently, I didn't even know my girlfriend's number. But, anyways, though, I know. So I get killed instantly by this. There, yes! Hmm? Hello? Akari? Listen, I'm not dead yet. I'm alive. I have a future. I love you. Won't you put your soul to rest? Huh? What do you mean? 
Huh. Ha, <laughs> vice versa. N25, hello? Hello? Now we have hello, hello? Hey. Uh, where are you? Backwards, though. Do I have a clock in this room? Blood sticks to the mirror. Smartphone, I don't use it much anymore. I'm gonna go to sleep first of all in this alternate mirror realm. Does different endings. N4, just let it be morning. Let's see. I know. Not in the mood to read. Let's check the fireplace. Fireplace, rare these days. Decorative flowers. What if I try leaving? Yeah, the bear falls apart in mirror world as well. N2, can't stand this room. Now. His head is off. There we go. Phone. Kazuki? The call I got. It was from you, right? Enough of this, okay? It's not doing any good for us. Then dots on that one. My ring is phoning. Ha. Ah, unending. I know. Wait. I'm back. <laughs> the head is off. Turns are drawn. Alright. TV is on. Let's check the TV. Oh, share it, right? What's on TV? Ah, uh, with the girl's face. I know. Smartphone. I don't use it much anymore. Flex the room. Kazuki, what do you want from me? And then the book opens. August 9th. In two days, I'll be six years today in Akari. I suppose I should treat her to special meat. I bet she'll love it. August 10th. Akari said she has an important business trip tomorrow. What a shame. I had a present and everything. Today makes six years, Akari. I know work is rough for you, too. I'm sorry for what I said on the phone yesterday. Dots. August 25th. Akari called and said she'll be back tomorrow. It felt like so long. I should meet her at the airport. The entries end here. I'm sorry, Kazuki. I'm sorry. Yai yai. Mirror World. Sweetheart's Diary. Trying to get progress on the Mirror World. Why is the bed... Yeah, the, he the head's a different color. Alright. What do you say? What do you want to do with me, Kazuki? An envelope pops up. Read the envelope. I'll come see you tomorrow, Kazuki. So alternate realm, do this. Hmm. I know. The knocking's much more rigged. If I ignore the knocking for so long, will something happen? You guys want to see if something happens if I ignore the knocking for so long? Nothing actually seems to be happening though. Come in. So stop, Kazuki. <laughs> Akari, is that you, Akari? <laughs> cough, cough. Akari, hold out your hand. Come quick. 
Kazuki, where are you? Quick, grab my hand. Is that Kazuki? Is it really? I said hurry! N28, another layer. Hello? Hello? Alright, check the phone for the beginning section. Hello? It reflects the room, its head is off. Hello, green person. So many endings, that's a big point of the game, so that has nothing to say. Hello, silly old chair. Okay, okay, oh god, dang, answer the phone. I wonder why he keeps bringing me here, though. If it's just something that happens, or there's like an ending here I'm missing or something. Run around, ignore the phone as I investigate. The currents are drawn. Why, hello, red person. He seems very happy to see me still. I love our next door neighbors. How about if I turn off the lights when the phone's ringing? Painful. Got it. Now then, this ending. So people say, wait for the fire. Run around, and wait for the fire. Oh, that's not what I meant to do at all. Why, hello you again. Let her in. Oh, okay. I know. Let's do this. But the fireplace came alive before without me actually doing anything, so yeah. I break over this way, run around a bit. I'll let you in. Alright, I'm not gonna ignore you. Check a little bit around. I check the room. The scream! Akari? Akari? Is that you, Akari? Cough, cough. Akari! Hold out your hand! Is that Kazuki? I is it really? I said hurry! Don't let go, I'll pull you up! Kazuki! Heave! Akari! Let's get out of here. Uh, right. I run off. Iwana. When I heard Akari, I desperately reached out for her to save Akari, who shouldn't exist. The girl whose hand I'm holding now, is it the real Akari? That question didn't seem to matter. Alright, this seems to be the true ending. get though before I continue, unless there's something else that'll happen. True Wind, Mirrored Lovers. Alright. That's the true ending, but there's other endings I want to see if I can obtain. I wish for your happiness. Okay. I still haven't scolded her though. 
Let's see. Move that there. Here we go. I know. I know everything. Fuck this. Keeps on taking me that, to that beginning area, but I decided to do something, so... Because after this, it should take me to... Or not. But I want to get scold. I want to do the scolding and the... And the magic and... Fireplace... Mirror... TV... Book... Clock... The phone's not doing much of anything this time. Did I just go to bed? Yes, I just go to bed. Just let it be morning. I know. There's a letter here now. I'm lonely. Haha, <laughs> wine bottle. Alright, and there goes the phone. Am I starting from the beginning again, though? Hello? Because I got the true ending and all that. Maybe if I do this, it'll jump me ahead because I want to do the scolding thing. If I can, if I can. If I have to go through the whole other process, I'll move on to the next thing. So there we go, that first ending. Hello, hello. Yeah, it looks like you have to build your way back up after you get the true ending. So, I'll do it quickly enough. I'll just answer the phone every single time. Every single time. Hey there, red feather lover guy. There it goes. I'm just going to scold her. Hello? This is Akari, isn't it? Answer, please. Then she pops up behind me because fucking the magician's here. No reply. We're getting there. We're making the words. Now the room changes drastically. I try to leave. I try to leave again. And the bear is a dead bear. Can't stand the Bruce room, except the bear got deta uh, decapitated, which is something which I think needs to happen before you can move on. I don't hate you. Now check the phone. Enough of this, okay? Please. Then the dots, and we space out. Unseen force. Now we're almost there. The music kicks in. We have a weird reaction. Something's at the door. Go outside to investigate. Same ending sort. Actually, I thought that same. I thought a different ending happened right there. If I remember correctly, apparently not. Now everything's off to attack me. I don't know what this barrel is. Now we check the phone. Akari, what do you want from me? And the book opens up, we can read it, we read it already previously. And then we're all sorry and all that, which leads us to get to the almost the end. Sweetheart's Diary. Now pretty soon, after this one. Pretty certain. I think those ringtone change. What do you want to do with me, Akari? The response is in a letter form. Can't want the fireplace to come on, but apparently not. Let's check it. I'll come meet you tomorrow. Cool. Notice. And now let's get to the scolding her ending. I like scolding. And go forth and let's scold her. Now then, we see here in front of us Akari. I scold her. Akari? I'm not dead. Not yet. I'm alive. I have a future. I love you. Won't you put your soul to rest? <laughs> Just bitch slaps my head off. Poor communicator. 
I know. Actually, Ezra, there's a high chance you're gonna watch session nine today, so yeah. I... Turn on fireplace. Once in the news. I'll try one more time to turn the fireplace on. And if this doesn't become triumphant, I will just be ready to move on. Rain around the table. Mirrors, mirrors. They all are apparently fucking crazy because everything needs to train on and off and everything. All I really know is that I'm moving back and forth, up and down, checking the fireplaces. Still moving every which way. One of these days, I'll trigger an event that'll do something for me. Something which is desirable. Fireplace. Why won't the fireplace turn on? You think that fireplaces would have a way to easily turn themselves on instead of being overly complicated? Anyways... I guess I'll just look around the room one more time after I get her in here. Get Akari in here and let's go Alternativesville. <clears throat> Akari, I check the room. Like for instance, what happens if I get caught by her? I'm gonna walk around a little bit because I don't fully know what to expect. I got the wrong number. How about if I look at our possessions? She doesn't like me looking at our possessions. What if I watch TV while she's in? That'll probably just lead to something stupid. Let me get caught by her. Oh, it's just decapitation. Why must you run? Oh, well, that has been. Hello? Hell. Want me to read the book? Alright, I'll do it. Okay, though I think I already did that, but let me try again. I don't think you can, actually. I think I tried once. Let me get in the room with her quickly. Talk about a headache. I get, I see what you did there. Akari, I check the room. I cannot read the book, unfortunately. It is closed off from me. She's coming in my general direction. I cannot go to bed right now. Checking the daisies doesn't do much. Turn off the lights! No, negatory. How about if I look in the mirror? Look outside! Oh, oh I guess I really need that anyway. All right, so this has been Hello, Hello, Catch you guys next time.